hair off camera to save time. On one side I did two flat twists and on the other side I did three flat twists. And in the back I did a center part. It does not have to be straight as you can see. And I did four rows with two twists. We'll be using bobby pins for this technique, taking the two twists, crisscrossing them over and pinning them on each side with the bobby pin carefully so I'm going to pull my hair. I am going to repeat this step up to the top of my head. Again, all I'm doing is just taking the two twists and crisscrossing them over, bobby pinning each side. This will help stretch my hair and I will achieve a very nice stretch twist out. So it's time for the front. Let's get started on these flat twists. So I'm just going to take one twist and pull it to the back to stretch it and secure with the bobby pin. And I'm going to repeat it on the other side. The reason why I flat twist the front is so my front can fall toward my face. You'll see what I'm talking about once I take the twist out. toward my face with these loose curls that's the look I was going for so that's why I flat twisted the front now it's time to get rid of that center part and any other parts that are in my head 
So I'm just taking my fingers and starting at the roots and lifting up on them just to cover it and give my hair some volume. That's it. Nice and stretched out, just how I like it. And you would not believe the products I use to get this look. grease and Cantu shea butter right and it's what under ten dollars so you don't have to go out and spend forty dollars on the styler my hair is slick frizz free moisturized it's awesome thanks for watching guys bye